Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Cutoco Reviews. And this video is for all the IT professionals and all the people who use a lot of computer. So if you guys remember July 19th, that was a outage day in which there was a Windows outage which affected so many different businesses. And these situations can come anytime even when you're not ready. Imagine if you have a software from which you can back up all your data and anything which is very precious to you it will not be gone with these kind of outages. This video is all about reviewing that software. This is about mini tool shadow maker, which will enhance the protection of any of your information, which is very crucial. So without any delay, let's start this video and talk about the mini tool shadow maker and how it can enhance your security and save all your data without losing it. Let's get started with the review. Once you download the software it will come in the downloads and you can open the file from here and it will ask you to download it you can put yes and then that's it so just put install now and it will start installing in your computer let's download this okay so once it's the once it's done uh, it will give you this screen thank you for installing mini tool uh, this has a monthly subscription for pro and this is an annual subscription if you go for the annual package it will be three dollars per month if you go for the monthly it will be 9.99 and if we go for the ultimate it's one time it's a uh, generally 39 dollars so all three licenses there are different versions you can use this in single pc you can use this uh, for two pc and you can use this for three pcs and there's lifetime free upgrade on the pro ultimate and this is one year free upgrade and this is month to month upgrade so these are three packages which you can do for the shadow maker so now let's check this software once it start you can back up your computer you can just start backuping so you also have an option of getting the free trial so it will give you 30 days to check out the software is it good for you or you need out of all these three which one you need so if you are a businessman if you're taking care of your business this will be the best option for you because it gives you access for three computers this is just for the home uh, computers so if you want to do the monthly if you don't have that much uh, usage of the software you can go for the monthly as well so these are some of the packages which i discussed so First, I will just uh, try to put the license code. So here also, if you buy this, you will have a license code. You can just go and paste your license key here and then it is activated or registered. So now I, this is the software. This is the full access software because I had the license code and I bought this software. So now this is how it is uh, looking once it's uh, already downloaded. So I have the lifetime validity and this is it. This is your home screen. You can back up any data on this left hand side. You can see the backup, sync, restore, manage, logs, tools. These are the options. So now if you have to back up your windows, if you have to back up all, any of your file, this is the source, this is the PC and these are the various options this gives. So I will show you how you can back up anything in your computer. So suppose if I have to back up my photos, I'll just go to my Windows file. It says uh, 952 GB. So that's my space for the files. So I go to the backup screen and then I can select the source and then I can select the files and folders, whatever files you want to back up, you can select those or you can select the whole drive or you can select anything if you want. So I'll just show you the files and folder which I want to select. So I'm going to back up my, some of my certificates, some of my images. So I'll just show you those two or three things. Just some of my recordings and then okay. And then uh, for the destination folder, you can just make any of the folder in the drive. And then you can uh,
So I selected the new folder and I'll just click OK. So this is the file size which you want to back up and this is the destination folder. So just make sure your file size is always less than the destination folder which you want to save. So if your destination folder is less than your file size, it won't be backing up. So that's why just make sure you have enough space. So once it's done, you can just uh, copy all these, whatever I have, 127 GB, I can back up in this destination folder and then you can just start backup now. There are uh, two options. You can back, back it up now or back it up later, whatever you want. So you, if you collect, if you click and there are options as well, there are options. It will start compressing the file so you can be having the medium which is recommended so all the image and videos will be compressed to the medium uh, uh, so that you don't have to have that much space utilizations so if you put high then the image quality and the video quality will be exactly same you'll end up having large space in your backup drive so I'll just uh, click on the recommended and that's it and then you can hit OK and then you can start backup now so if you say backup it will ask you do you want to backup now and you can say okay and then it will start backing up so it will copy all your files to that folder so once this is done once this backup is done you have this file anything happens to your computer anything happens to your drive this will be saved as a backup so as you can see the file is already backup so it says uh, latest backup on that date time everything is there so if you go to the home page it will tell you the last backup so this file is already saved and if you go and manage and you can just check here you can see the locate image and image is right here with the in the folder which you saved once you're done with the backup make sure you shut down your computer so so now everything is done so I shut down the computer, I restarted again and uh, now I will show you the original file where it is saved. So if I go to the original file which I back up, so I go to stuff and I go to the food. So these are some of the images which I saved. This is the original file which is saved in stuff and food. So now this folder is exactly copied as an image file in the destination where I will show you. You can locate image file. So it's saved in uh, my recording new folder. So this is the image file. You cannot open it because it's a backup. So for opening this file, you have to go here. Uh, if you go in the home page, you will see the backup. You will just go and manage. And from here, you can just browse this file. So it will give you the exact backup date and everything. So this is the actual file which you want to browse. So do next click this C drive you click stuff so you click food and these are the actual images which are backed up so now you have to open this file you will have to save it in other folder to view it because it is a backup so to view it you just do next and you can have a destination folder I set my destination folder already so it is in the new folder which I will show you so once you select the destination folder where you want to save it you can save it in the pen drive you can save it in anywhere anywhere you want to save it as a backup so i'll just start and then this is done so that is it so it just copied all the file in that destination folder and then i'll show you where it is saved exactly so if i show you the original file so it is on my windows stuff folder this is the original folder this is the original file but now the backup which i saved right now is on the recording section if i go in the recording folder and if i go to the new folder if i go to the new folder again here is that folder so here you can see all these images are exactly copied so this is the magic of the shadow maker which will save and backup and it can also save your files important documents everything as a image form and you can save it back to the pen drive so this is it i guess this is very easy very nice process if you have a shadow maker you can uh, do a lot and lot of uh, improvements security improvement in your file and you won't be losing any of the file in future so this is the magic of the shadow maker and this was it this was all about the mini tool shadow maker which can help to protect your data and help to enhance the protection of your computer if any of the outage or any of the emergency comes in your computer so if you guys are watching this video and if you guys want to learn more about this software i'll share the 
download link in the description box from where you can go and download this software and also you can learn more about this software on their official website i'll share all the links in the description so that you can go and check for yourself so if you guys are watching this video for the first time and if you guys want to know more about different kind of software different kind of products and different kind of tech reviews this is the channel for you make sure you subscribe and like and hit the bell notification icon so that if I post anything new, you're notified. So that's my time for today. I'll see you again in another review. Until then, just take care, have a good one, and also stay protected. Goodbye.